Every new Minecraft world needs a starter base. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to build three different starter houses, each with its own unique theme. And I designed the interiors to be aesthetic, but also functional for a survival world. First up is this cozy oak cottage. Here are all of the materials that you'll need to build along with me. To get started, place oak logs according to the dimensions on the screen. Add four more logs on top, so each of these pillars should be five blocks tall in total. Add a horizontal beam of logs in between the two outer pillars. In the center, add two more logs. Beside those logs, add these little L shapes made out of oak planks. Let's mirror the exact same design on the opposite side. Connect both sides with a horizontal beam of logs. Head back down to the ground and add a row of deep slate bricks in between these two pillars. Add stairs in front of those and then place four cobblestone on either side. Connect both of the tops and then place an upside down stair in the center and an oak door. One block behind the other pillars, add five oak planks. Do the same on the other side. Then connect both the top and the bottom with another plank. Above the bottom plank, add a stair, and then fill in that gap with glass panes. Connect the top of the pillars with slabs and fill in the bottom with leaves. On the right side of the house, add two rows of cobblestone. Add two more cobblestone on the left, right, and center, and then fill in these gaps with upside down stairs and glass panes. Add a row of leaves in front of the bottom of the wall. Let's mirror the exact same wall design that we built at the front of the house. Follow along with me and let's build it up. Add five cobblestone beside this pillar and five on the other side. Connect the top with another block and then add two additional blocks at the bottom. Fill in the hole with glass panes. Let's mirror the same wall design that we built on the right side of the house. Add an upside down stair beside the right pillar, and then staircase up until you reach the center. Once you do, place an upside down stair facing the house, and then place a slab on top. Mirror the same design on the other side until you connect up with the middle. Let's repeat the exact same design on the other side. Connect both sides of the roof using slabs. Add stairs beside the top of the pillars. Place upside down stairs adjacent to those stairs so that you create these arches. And then add a regular stair on top of those stairs, again facing inwards to continue that arch design. Facing the house, place an upside down stair in between those stairs, and then place a slab on top. Let's repeat the same design on the back of the house as well. With the roof trim done, let's fill in the rest of the roof using oak stairs and oak slabs. Fill in the other side of the roof as well. Mm -hmm. 
With the roof done, let's add oak fences at the top of the pillars, and hang some lanterns underneath. For a pop of color, add some flowers. I chose rose bushes and red tulips. Add more fences at the back of the house, again hanging lanterns underneath. Head inside and let's get started on the floor. Create a checkered pattern made out of stripped dark oak wood and stripped spruce wood. Next, let's fill in the ceiling using upside down oak stairs. Add a couple of lanterns on the oak log to light up the inside of the house. Make a table using oak stairs, and then on top add some decorations like a chest, amethyst cluster, and flower pot. Beside the table add some furnaces, and then above add some barrels. On the opposing wall add four chests, create a shelf out of trapdoors, and on top add a barrel and chest. Under the shelf in the corner add an armor stand, and then display whatever armor that you want. I chose some gold armor since I think it looks nice. On the wall add an item frame and then display a clock. On this last wall place a row of barrels with trapdoors underneath. In the center add a crafting table with a flower pot on top, and then beside add a couple of beds. And with that our oak cottage is finished. Next up is this desert themed house. These are all of the materials that you'll need to build it along with me. Let's begin the build by creating a 9x7 border made out of smooth sandstone. Remove the ground inside of the border. Replace the ground we just removed with a random combination of terracotta and granite. Add four more blocks of smooth sandstone to the walls, so they should be five tall in total. Fill in the top, again using smooth sandstone. This is optional, but if you want to add some texture to your walls, mix in sand as well as stripped birch wood. Head to the front of the house and create a staircase design using smooth sandstone. Just follow the dimensions that are on the screen. Dig out a 2x3 hole in the wall so that we can add an entrance to our house. Replace these two blocks here with either granite or terracotta. In the corners of the entrance, place upside down stairs. Place trap doors behind those stairs, and then add a couple of doors. Create a window on the right side of the wall using spruce fences. Above the window add a campfire, and then place a trapdoor underneath. Let's add a similar design above the entrance as well, just this time add two campfires and two trapdoors. Heading to the left side of the house, add two rows of slabs. Then add a row of trapdoors. Add gates under the slabs on both sides. Connect the awning to the ground using spruce fences. Let's add some decorations underneath the awning, like chests, a crafting table, barrels, and let's also add a lantern to help light up this outside area. Heading to the back of the house, let's add a couple more windows. Use the same design that we built on the front wall. On the right wall, create a border out of trapdoors. Break out these five blocks in the wall, and then replace them with stairs. Waterlog the stairs using a water bucket. 
Add a row of sand inside of the trapdoors. Flip up all of the trapdoors and then plant some sugarcane on the sand. Head to the back right corner of the roof and create a small little tower following the dimensions on the screen. Place a couple of stairs and then add some walls to all of the corners. In between the walls, place spruce gates. On top of the walls, place two spruce fences. Add red wool above all of the spruce fences. Hang red banners on all sides. Break out this sandstone block so that we can access the inside of the house, then place a trap door and a lantern hanging off of the wall. Place cut sandstone every other block on top of the walls. Place smooth sandstone slabs on top. Place spruce fence gates in between the blocks. Skip the one by the staircase so that we can easily access this rooftop area. Above all of the gates, place a spruce trap door. Place a spruce button on the sides of all of the cut sandstone. Create a 2x2 two two area of sand and surround it with spruce trap doors. Plant some cactus on top of the sand. Add some decorations like a crafting table, chests, and flower pots with ferns in them. Head inside and create a beam of smooth sandstone with upside down stairs coming off of it. In front of the beam, place sandstone walls. Add some furnaces and chests underneath the stairs. Place down a trap door and a crafting table, and then hop on here so we can place a lantern, finish off the shelf with a trap door, and then place a flower pot with a fern in it. Replace these two blocks in the floor with gray wool, and then place a bed on top and surround it with gray carpet. And add a painting underneath the shelf. Place some ladders leading up to the rooftop area. Make a shelf out of spruce trap doors. On top, place a lantern as well as a flower pot and in this one, I put a red tulip. Let's add a painting underneath the shelf using a temporary block to control how big the painting will be. Place down an armor stand beside the ladder. Beside that, add a couple of bookshelves, and on top, place a chest as well as a campfire. Create a table using dark oak stairs, and in the middle, place a lectern with a book and quill inside. On the table, place a lantern and a flower pot with a fern in it. Place a painting above, again using temporary blocks to control the size. Create a chair by placing a slab with two trapdoors behind it, and then place a banner on the trapdoors and two signs beside the slab. And with that, our desert house is finished. I'll now show you how to build a castle-themed house. These are all of the materials that you'll need to build it along with me. Begin the build by creating a 9x7 border made out of stone bricks. Remove the ground inside of the border. Create a checkered floor design made out of deep slate bricks and cobbled deep slate. Add four additional stone bricks on top of the border, creating five high walls in total.
fill in the top of the walls using stripped dark oak logs. Above the dark oak, create walls out of stripped spruce logs following the dimensions on the screen. Place an upside down stair beside the left log, and then add another stair coming off of it, and then staircase up to the middle using slabs. Repeat the same design on the other side until you reach up with the middle. Break out a couple of spots for some windows. Inside of these holes, place spruce stairs. In the middle of the roof, place a chain with a lantern underneath. Head to the back of the house and let's mirror the exact same design that we just built. Follow along with me and let's build it up. Connect both walls, again, using stripped spruce logs. Connect both roof lines using dark oak stairs. Place a horizontal beam of stripped spruce logs in between the top of the walls. Also connect the roof peaks using dark oak slabs. Fill in the rest of the roof using deep slate brick slabs. Mirror the same design on the other side. Head to the front wall and place an upside down polished andesite stair on both of the corners. Then every other block, place a regular polished andesite slab. In between, place stone brick slabs. Place a polished andesite block on both ends as well as the middle. Place a chiseled stone brick above the remaining two andesite slabs. In between all the blocks, place upside down stone brick stairs. Above the full blocks, place stone brick slabs. In between the slabs, place spruce trap doors. Heading to the ground, let's dig out a hole for the entrance to our house. In the corners, place upside down stone brick stairs with a slab in between. Fill in the hole using spruce trap doors. Break out the two trap doors in the middle and replace it with a door. Add two polished andesite blocks on both sides of the entrance. Above those blocks, place a stair. Replace the ground in front of the entrance with coarse dirt. Add a rose bush beside both of the columns. Head to the left side of the house and place an upside down polished andesite stair every other block. In between the stairs, place a stone brick slab. And above the stairs, place a polished andesite block. Place upside down stone brick stairs in between. Above the andesite, place stone brick slabs. And then in between the slabs, place spruce trap doors. Dig out two holes so we can add some windows. In these holes, place polished andesite stairs. Head to the back of the house and we're going to mirror the exact same design that we built at the front. So follow along with me and let's build it up together.
Instead of adding another entrance to this wall, add some more columns using polished andesite and polished andesite stairs. Head to the right side of the house, and we're going to mirror the exact same design that we built on the left. So again, follow along with me, and let's build it up. Heading inside, add a column of stripped spruce logs on the left wall. Add some barrels on both sides of the column. Underneath the barrels, place some trapdoors. Add a couple of bookshelves, and then create a table using spruce stairs. Add a lectern with a book and quill inside, and then place a couple more stairs to finish off the table. Create a chair using a dark oak stair and a couple of signs. On the table, place a flower pot with a fern, a pressure plate, cake, lantern, another flower pot with a cornflower, and a chest. Place a painting on the wall using temporary blocks to control the size. On the opposing wall, place three furnaces and three chests, and then place two fences on top of the table and connect the top using trap doors. Place a stair with a crafting table beside it, and then on the floor place a couple of flower pots with a cornflower and fern inside. On top of the crafting table, place a lantern and an armor stand on top of the stair. On this wall, let's place a painting, again using temporary blocks to control the size. Place ladders on the column leading up to the second floor. Replace this block here with a strip spruce log for a cleaner look. Continue the ladders up until you reach the second floor. Create a ceiling using upside down spruce stairs. Add your bed in this corner here, and then on the opposing wall, add a barrel with a chest on top, and then a couple of bookshelves in the other corner. Let's also add a crafting table with a lantern on top, and a flower pot with a cornflower. Add a couple of chests, and on this other wall, let's add a painting, again using temporary blocks to control the size. Break out a couple of blocks and add a door, so that we have a way to access this upper outside area. And with that, this build is complete. I really hope you enjoyed this video and that you found the tutorials helpful. As always, a super special thank you to my supporters on Patreon. Thank you so much for watching, and happy building!